Okay, good evening, people. Good evening, good night. How are you today? Ready Hi. for class? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Welcome, Jamilet, Ricardo, and Kenya. Yes. Yes, you are on time. You are here in Lourdes, Jamilet? Yes. Oh, where in Lourdes? Campus. Really? Uno? Yes. Yes. Hey, we That's for you. Really? Yes. <laughs> where? I live in your in sure. Uh huh. And I think of the sure. The first. You're Isaiah's sister or oh, daughter? Daughter, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <yeah. laughs> okay. Good. Just to start only study the picture you send to the yesterday. Oh, you really? You didn't connect to the class? No, I know because I um, I start my class of master. Oh, good. Yeah, you're right. You're on Mondays. Mm -hmm. You're busy on Mondays. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you see the video in YouTube? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, you can watch the class in YouTube. Ah, okay, yes, I got a link. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will. I'm going to see later. Mm -hmm. When you miss a class, so you can watch the class in YouTube. No problem. Okay, thanks. Okay, people, let's get started today. Um, Let's practice one more time. Yesterday we studied the vocabulary about parts of the body. Ricardo, Kenya, Hector, who else is? David. Can you tell me what is what is number one? Hell. Hell. Okay. Hell. Very good. Um, what is number two? Ice. 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 Mm -hmm. What is number three? Hair. Hair. What is number four? Nose. Nose. Number five? Mouth. 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 Number six. Mm -hmm. Ears. Ears. Number seven. Mm, neck. Uh, neck is the back. Uh, okay. Ear. Throat. 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 Yes, throat. And uh, number eight. Arm. 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 Number nine. And Ginger. And fingers. No, number ten. Finger. Finger. Eleven. Knee. 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 Twelve. Foot. 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 And thirteen. Toes. 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 Mm -hmm. Toes. Okay, very good. That is was just to refresh our minds a little bit about the parts of the body. Okay, 
Today we we're going to study this vocabulary about medications, common medications. Uh, we have a video to learn about this vocabulary, okay? It says the objective, by the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medications for health problems. Common medications for health problems. Okay. Let's take a look to this video. Okay, I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment to watch the video. And I have to share the sound. Okay. Illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. <laughs> Everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take... Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take... Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You open your... Your microphones. Okay. Uh, let's practice this vocabulary, okay? Repeat after me. Antacid. 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 Aspirin. 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 Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough drops. No, cough, no, drops. Drops. cough drops. Cough drops. Cough drops. 
cold pills. Cold pills. Cold pills. Cold pills. Eye drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. Okay. Any question with this vocabulary? No. Go. Cough. Cough. What is cough? Anybody knows? Cough. Ideas? No? No. Is this? <coughs> Okay. That is cough. Mm -hmm. Cough. Yes. Cough. 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 Mm -hmm. This sound, this sounds like an F. <clears throat> ah, okay. Cough. Cough. Mm -hmm. Cough. 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 Okay, what is coal? A shoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that is a sneeze, that action. Okay, sneeze. Ah, true, that is a sneeze. Okay. You sneeze when you have a cold. Yes. Oh, okay. What is cold? Frio. Resfriado. Resfriado, un resfrío. Mm -hmm. Un resfrío. That is, that is cold. And um, in the conversation uh, yesterday, we studied another word. Let me see. The conversation. Uh, this. Flu. Mm. What is flu? Gripe. Gripe. Mm -hmm. So it's different cold oh. and flu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very good. No, where are we? Yeah. Okay. okay, now you have to write sentences like this. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take, let me say, cold pills. Mm -hmm. I take cold pills, for example. Now, yeah. what else? I want you to write more sentences using this vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Um, and and um, the parts of the body you can you can use the vocabulary. Whenever I have a uh, stomach ache or, okay? So I will give you five minutes to work and write sentences. And then we are going to share their, all the sentences. Okay? Okay. Work for five minutes.
Okay, guys, I'm going to put you in in groups to share your sentences, okay? Okay. Join the groups, please. Okay, um, welcome back. Let me activate.
Okay. Uh, um. Okay, let's talk about your sentences. Okay. Hector, can you give me one sentence? Whenever I have a stomach, I take a antacid. Okay, good. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach yes, stomach perfect. Stomach okay. Lino? Okay, whenever I have a fever, I take a pill. Okay. Good. Um, Ricardo? Hola. Yeah, okay. Whenever I have a cool, take ibuprofen and palagri. <laughs> <laughs> Commercial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Araceli? Whenever I have a toothache, I take um, acetaminophen. Okay. Um, Jacqueline? Uh, whenever um, ibuprofen uh, for the headache. Okay. Um, whenever I have a headache, I take... Whenever I have a headache, I take... Okay. I ibuprofen. Okay. okay. Uh, who else? Jamilet? Whenever I have a conjunctivity, I take an eye drop. Eye drop. Eye drop. Okay. Perfect. Kenya? Uh, whenever I have a health, health I take a acetaminophen. A uh, headache. Oh, a headache. Okay. D David? Whenever I have indigestion, I take antacid. Okay. Ricardo? No? <laughs> uh, whenever I have, I, have a, I have a headache, mm -hmm. I take Panadol. <laughs> okay. God bless you. Somebody sneezed. <laughs> okay. Lisette? Lisette? Hello. Can you share one sentence? Okay. Whenever I have a coat, I take honey with lemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Or natural. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, perfect. Uh, let's continue then now with the next activity. Next activity says that by the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life setting. Okay, we are going to study positive and negative imperatives now. Okay, let's take a look to this video to, to learn about that. Let me see, let me share the audio, okay. Mute your microphones for a moment. How to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. 
I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left-hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right-hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement too hard. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup, don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, very good. Okay, let's take a look to the conversation. Okay, first I want to ask you a question. What, what do you see in this picture? What do you see in the picture? I see the body team, I see the doctor, I see the patient and okay. uh, recipient of garbage. No. Medicaments. Okay, medication, mm -hmm. medicines. Uh huh. Instrument to use the doctor. Okay. Very good. So, um, where where are they? Where are they? Hospital? Maybe a hospital. Mm -hmm. Clinic? Or a clinic. The doctor's, the doctor's office. So in English, they don't, they don't say clinic, so they call it the doctor's office, actually. Oh, okay. okay. Uh -huh. Usually. Okay. Appointment with the doctor. Uh huh. You make an appointment with the doctor. Mm -hmm. An appointment is the is the name. Um, who is the doctor and who is the patient in that picture? Uh, doctor John. <laughs> The doctor is uh -huh. black, the doctor. Uh -huh. In the picture, when I see the doctor is in the left, 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 
if, uh, if the teacher and the patient of the right. Okay, the doctor is on the left and the patient is on the right. Right. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's practice the conversation between Dr. Young and Ms. West. Repeat after me, please. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. Not, Not so, so good. good. So, what's wrong exactly? So, so what's wrong what's exactly? Wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Hmm, why are you so tired? Hmm. Why are you so Why tired? Are you so tired? tired. I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I don't know. I just can't, I just can't sleep, sleep, at sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm gonna give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. I'm going to give you some pills, one pill every night after dinner. Okay. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. Yes. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. All right. Okay, very good. Now I am Dr. Young and you are Ms. West. Okay? Okay. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm a sucker. Hmm, why are you so tired? I don't, I don't know. know. I, don't I just can't get the mind. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm gonna give you okay. some. Is that Dr. Young yet? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you some pills. One pill every night after dinner. Okay. 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 And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. All right. Dr. John. Okay, very good. Now you are Dr. Young, and I am Ms. West. Okay. You begin one, two, three. Hello, Ms. West. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Why are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong oh, exactly? What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, well, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. okay. Let's, Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Okay, one pill every night after dinner. After dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Yes. Work too hard. All right. Thanks, Doctor John. Okay. Any question with the conversation? No, I don't know. No? Okay, how do you how do you pronounce this word? Tired. Yes, tired. Tired. Yeah, don't say tired. No. Tired. 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 Mm -hmm. And this? Exhausted. Exhausted. Yeah, it's more like exa exhausted. 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 Yeah, this sound is is like uh, 
Oh. Oh. Exhausted. 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 Okay. Um, anything else? Okay, very good. Now, if you see, we have some um, some imperatives in this conversation, okay? For example, take one pill every night after dinner. That is an, an instruction, okay? Imperatives, we use imperatives to give instructions, to give directions, okay? To give orders, take one pill every night after dinner. Another one. And don't, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Uh -huh. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Okay, these are instructions. Okay. Good. I will give you. Three minutes to practice the conversation in pairs. Okay? Okay. Let me put you in groups. You have the conversation in uh, WhatsApp. To bless you. Okay. Okay, join the groups and practice the conversation two or three times.
Okay, welcome back. Now I want you to take a look to this chart. Okay, we have some situations here. I have a headache, I have a stomachache, I have a toothache, I feel sad. I feel sick, I feel excited. So I want you to write, um, to give instructions for these situations. One affirmative and one negative, okay? For example, if I say to you, I have a headache and I recommend Oh, take an aspirin and don't watch TV. Okay, if you have a headache, take an aspirin and don't watch TV. Okay, then I want you to do the same for these situations. I have a stomach ache. Okay. So, do this, don't do that. Haz esto y no hagas aquello, okay? okay. So I, I will put you in pairs again, in, in, in pairs to work together. And then uh, we are going to come back and share your work, okay? Okay. Uh, you have this chart in WhatsApp. Take uh, take uh, a recording. Take, I take antiacid. Yes. I, I take antiacid. Yes. I, I don't. Don't don't drink. Don't drink soda. Don't drink soda. Don't drink coffee, verdad? Yes. Yes. Uh, vaya, digamos que ese es mi ejemplo. I have a stomach. I take um, antiacid, don't drink coffee. Okay, but uh, la respuesta no, no tienen que ser con el I. Es como que usted oh. está recomendando a la persona que le dice eso, qué es lo que tiene que hacer. Es como que yo les diga, hey, I have a stomach ache. And ustedes me dicen, oh. Take an antacid and don't drink coffee. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because that is the imperative form. En imperativo no usamos sujeto, no usamos I, you, he. Okay. So it's just an instruction. 
Okay. okay. I have okay. come back. Take antacid. Don't drink coffee. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Very okay. good. I have. I have to take. To take. It's okay. Uh huh. I have to hey, take. To take. I mm -hmm. have to take. Take a. Uh, an event. Okay. An event. Mm -hmm. Don't eat hard food. Okay, good. Okay, see you later. David, see you. Okay. Oh, yes. Teacher, sí. how do you say grasa? Bueno, grasa de comida. Fat. 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 F-A-T. Fat. Ah, fat. Sí. fat. Sí. Uh -huh. Okay, don't eat fat. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. okay, thanks. I see you Take you... a wrap. Triste, ¿verdad? Me equivoqué. Yes, triste. Uh -huh. um, en este caso, tal vez take a, a soup. ¿Soup? Yeah. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Chicken oh. soup for the soul. <laughs> oh, look a, look a movie. Oh, ah, yeah. Go to the park. Funny movie. <laughs> ah, yeah, funny movie, not mm -hmm. fun movie. Don't, yeah, don't look Titanic. Yeah, <laughs> because it may be dry. Yeah, you're gonna cry, cry, cry. cry. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, very good. Keep working. Okay. See you later. See you later. Thank you, teacher. Pizza podría ser también. Eh, teacher. Yep. Can you help us please? And the and the I feel sick is uh, is a sentence general. In this yeah. case, in this case, I can I I could ask question. Uh, what the matter? o what's wrong porque o sea preguntarle qué es lo que tiene porque solo dice que está enfermo okay but if you what what can you recommend to a person who says i feel sick okay uh, don't don't work hard don't work hard mm -hmm. and oh. enough sleep more or sleep more. No. Uh-huh. Go to take gym. Take a rest. Take, take a rest. Take a rest. Mm -hmm. Go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Go to the doctor. Uh -huh. Go home. If you are at work, go home or so. Okay. Affirmative and another negative. Negative. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Hey. Try to call them. ¿Cómo qué significaría? Yo no la entendí esa parte. Try to calm down. Ah, okay. Why calm down? 
Calm down. Uh -huh. Calm down. Calm. Try to calm. Calm Try to venir. Calm. Down. calm. No. Calm. 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 C a c a l m. Como come. Come. Mm -hmm. C a l m. C a m. C a l m. L m. Down. Down. En negative sería. Mantén la calma. Calm. Uh, negative sería. Don. Estoy emocionada. Um, sería. Eh, calm. Down. Relax. Don't relax. No te relajes. No. Cálmate y relájate. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. See you later. Pero no sería como I feel fine. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. Para eso no tengo afirmativa. En negativa. Mmm, no, no sé qué poner. Es algo bueno. Excited. No, pero excited no es. Quiero ver. Excited. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay, guys, I know the activity was very good, very interesting, but we have to stop. Okay. 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 Please remember to work in the platform, complete the exercises, and see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.